Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the command line tutorial series. So now we are going to be doing more practical things, okay? I want you to keep playing that game on your own. It's a great game to play, but let's uh, jump in and start doing some more practical things. So on the left-hand side, we see the actual world as you see it. So if you're using Windows, you'll see a different world, but essentially it's the same idea. You got some folders, you got directories, you got files, and all that stuff. And if you're looking at Linux or Mac or whatever, it's going to look pretty similar to what I have on my left-hand side. So now let's see how moving in the real world looks in the terminal world, okay? And once you understand that it's essentially the same thing, you will become a lot less intimidated with it and start to understand what's going on. All right, so, okay, so I clicked on documents and I'm in this folder called documents. I don't know what its depth is, I don't know, um, if it's in users or if it's in like my directory, like user slash something slash documents or whatever. So I can figure that out. Uh, first of all, on the right hand side, I'm gonna do LS and just see what's around me. And when I look around me, I see this thing called documents. And so if I go to documents, how can I check where I am? So if you remember from your previous commands, if you're ever lost, there's something called print working directory. So whatever directory you're currently in, that's your working directory. So if I hit PWD, it tells me I'm in user slash chestastic slash documents, which is actually this thing, okay? So I'm actually here, but from my terminal rather than my GUI graphical user interface. So I know I said user with the S, but it's user. Now, if I hit LS, what do you expect to see? Do you expect to see Playground? Do you expect to see uh, Playground here, Final Cut Pro? Do you, see, do you expect to see those things? Well, let me hit LS. And indeed, you see Final Cut Pro, Playground, Clever Programmer, and everything that's on the left-hand side here, you see that on the right-hand side right there. Now, what if I wanted to do something more. Let's say I want to actually go inside of a directory. Well, I can do CD Playground. You remember that one? So if I do CD Playground, that's effectively going to Playground and double clicking Playground. Okay. So I want to keep this video short because I really want to be explicit and make sure you understand what it is that we're doing here. Uh, even if the last two videos were maybe a little confusing or if they didn't do a good job of explaining this concept, it's okay if this still seems a little bit basic because fundamentals are the most important part of this. We will get to the more advanced things, but I don't want to take any for anything for granted. I want to make sure you understand every step of the way. And in the next video, I'll show you how you can perhaps create a folder right from your command line. All right, I'll see you in the next video.